Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's English lesson, we're looking at how we use almost, nearly, and hardly in English. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at how we use almost, nearly, and hardly. These three adverbs, which can sometimes be confusing for learners of English. Sometimes people confuse when we can use one or when we can use the other, and sometimes if it's positive or if it's negative. So in this video, I'm going to explain when we can use these three adverbs. Now, the first two we're going to look at are almost and nearly. Now, these two are very, very similar in meaning. And we can see here that almost is used in positive and negative forms, but the difference is that nearly can only be used in positive forms, okay? So we can only use nearly in positive forms. Almost can be used in both, but nearly only in positive. So let's have a look at some examples of when we can use both interchangeably with no difference in meaning, okay? So the first one, it's 4.45 p.m. or it's a quarter to five in the afternoon, nearly or almost time to go home. So it's nearly or it's almost time to go home. Not yet, but nearly or almost time, okay? Fairly simple, right? The second one, don't stop now, you're almost or nearly finished, okay? So don't stop because you are nearly or almost finished. And the third example is almost or nearly or my friends are married, okay? So almost all my friends or nearly all my friends are married. So we can use both of those uh, two adverbs interchangeably. Almost or my friends or nearly or my friends. You are almost finished, you are nearly finished, and uh, it's nearly time or it's almost time to go home, okay? That's how we can use both uh, the same way. Now we use almost and nearly to show progress if we are measuring or counting. So normally when we're showing progress in the form of measuring or counting, we can use these two. Now almost has another meaning which is similar to, okay, similar to. Now let's have a look at this example here. My cousin has lived in the USA for so long that he is almost American. He's almost American. He's almost American, but not quite, because he's originally from Australia, but he's been living in the USA for such a long time, or for so long, that he's almost American, okay? People think that he's American. His accent has changed. The way he acts is a little bit different uh, than it was before, okay? So that's how we use almost to mean similar to, okay? Now, when it comes to negative forms, remember that almost can be used in positive and negative forms, but nearly can't be used this way, okay? We can't use nearly in negative forms. So we have to use almost. Now let's have a look at the examples. I almost never finish my work before 6 p.m., okay? Almost never. Sometimes I do, but almost never do I finish my work, okay? And almost nobody was at the concert. There were very few people at the concert. There was almost nobody at the concert, perhaps because the band wasn't very popular. Now, we have another way that we can more or less mean the same thing by using hardly. And we can see at the top here that's part of the lesson today, hardly. And hardly means almost not. So we could say, I hardly ever finish work before 6 p.m. Hardly ever, so almost never, hardly ever. Or we can say, hardly anybody was at the concert. Hardly anybody was at the concert. So almost nobody, hardly anybody. 
Now, the difference here, as we can see, is that with almost, we can use a negative, almost nobody, almost never, and we can see these negative forms here, no, none, never, nothing, and nobody, so almost never, almost nobody, but when we use hardly, we can't use the negative, we have to use a positive, so I hardly ever, not hardly never, hardly ever, almost never, hardly ever, or hardly anybody, almost nobody, hardly anybody. So remember with hardly, we can't use a negative form, okay? It has to be positive. Almost can take a negative, but hardly needs to take a positive, okay? Or an affirmative. So that's how we use almost, nearly, and hardly in English. Now thanks for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share the video with your friends on social media. I'll see you in the next English lesson. See you later.